guys, I'm craving salmon. So we're gonna go to the Costco's and see what salmon options they have. Uh, the kids are in school, so I'm getting as much done as I can. And it's about one, so I've got like another hour and a half. Uh, I already ran a few errands. I went to the Walmart and uh, I got this. Be excited if I can open this bag. Beard browning kit. I get a little graze in here and sometimes I like to uh, put a little color to even that out a bit. But yeah, I saw this in Walmart and I just, I just fell in love with the box. I just feel like I can relate to this guy. <music> I also went shopping and got the boys some clothes at H&M. I did a lot of Walmart shopping for the girls that came in the mail, and there wasn't a lot for the boys, but I found some stuff at H&M. So we got the basic khaki, two of these, which is good because these go with pretty much everything. And a uh, little show and tell here. Oh, itchy nose. That wasn't part of the show and tell, my nose was just itching. This shirt looks cool, I thought. Uh, just classic striped polo. So fun. This one, just because it was on clearance, it was only a couple dollars and it has a soccer ball on it. We've got these beauties. This was a two pack. So this polo, this polo, those will look nice with the khakis, won't they? And let's see what we got. There's more. This one, kind of an island vibe, feels cool. And then I got two of these because the boys like black shirts. These are five slash six T. Five to six T still dwarfs the boys, but I don't want to buy four T stuff and have them run out. They are six and they could probably wear a four T. Five T's are okay. A lot of H&M is five slash six, which they're a little big, but nothing wrong with getting stuff a little big. And then I just got, this was another two pack. So another little polo. So a mix of polos and tees, they all go with the shorts. It's a capsule wardrobe ready for the summer. Okay, well, why are we sitting in this car? Let's go find us some salmon. So I'm doing something a little different today. I did not grab a cart in Costco because I'm here just to get salmon. And if I get the cart, I'll probably spend four to $500. It used to be $100. You couldn't walk out of Costco without spending a hundred. Now it's probably minimum 200 nowadays because of inflation and whatnot. But look at this, cart free. Now we can just get the salmon and uh, I won't buy a whole bunch of stuff that is just wonderful that I don't necessarily need. Although this looks pretty cool. Dang it. I don't even know how I got back here. Be strong, Skyler. Be strong. Okay, let's look at our fresh salmon options here. So we have the fresh steelhead filet. I'm assuming that is salmon because it looks really salmon-y. Steelhead salmon, it's gotta be. Uh, the price is $11 a pound. And then we've got some more down there. Okay, these beauties are fresh Atlantic salmon and uh, it's $12 a pound. So it's, it's a dollar more per pound over here. I'm gonna go look at a couple other options. I'm assuming that fresh salmon is probably the most expensive because it's so delicious, but there may be some easier options and even frozen stuff may work well. I think my biggest concern with the fresh salmon is it's so big. I like salmon, one or two of the kids will eat it, but I don't know if they'll all love it enough to eat an entire loaf of salmon. Filet, filet of salmon. Well, leave it to Kirkland. They have the Atlantic salmon, which was raised without antibiotics. That's gotta be good. And I don't know if you can see that. It's on sale. It's usually $34, take off $5. That's nice. And you'll also note that it's $9.60 a pound, which is the cheapest option so far. And the best part is I can cook how much I want and I don't have to make an entire bar of salmon at once. But before I grab this, I think there's one other option we can look at. This is not salmon. This is caramel flan, which I actually think should be illegal. Final option we have here is this salmon here, which is pre-seasoned in everything. Now it's $14 a pound, costs a little bit more, but with the kids here this week, this is probably the best option. And by probably, I mean absolutely, because I'm going to get it. And uh, I'm gonna walk out of Costco having spent under $30, which is a, a personal record for me. I think it's actually a national record and is in second for the world record. Someone came in once and spent $25. I still think it was a hoax. I mean, they can't really prove it, but just know that I did something, I did something really big here. Only $1.80 off the world record, folks. 
that's pretty big. Okay, so we're going to quickly do a little bit of beard scaping here. But before we do, you may have noticed there's a new channel name, Let's Go Father, that's the official name of the vlog. I'm going to be sharing my POV, my point of view of being a father and share some moments with me and my children, things that I'm learning. And of course, I'll always reach out to you guys for tips and advice. You've always been amazing with that. So let's go father, let's do that, let's do this. Welcome to the vlog and let's, let's take care of this beard. Before, and just like that, I look 40 years younger. We're about to roast some marshmallows. This is kind of a makeup marshmallow event. What happened last time we did marshmallows, Bib? They were sprinklers and they got me all wet. Yes, they sprayed out our fire and they sprayed poor Bibby right in the face, huh? But this time I made sure the sprinklers are off and then the golf course one that actually hit us is turned the other way. So we're safe. Ready for some mellows? Yeah! Let's do some mellows! Okay guys, line up. I'm passing out marshmallows. Everyone get a stick. And chocolate. Here you go. We're actually not gonna do chocolate tonight. This is just a marshmallow roast. There you go. Come here, Link. Are you ready to put this on your stick, Link? I do what if it tips it, on It'll work. Oh, oh, careful, careful, careful. What if it tips on the wall? It'll work. Just push it on nice and strong. Oh, it's perfect. Let's get cooking. Oh, I'm missing one. Where did Lily go? Lily Jane, what are you doing, kiddo? I'm getting a chair. You're getting a chair. Okay. Do you want some help with that chair or do you got it? I got it. You got it. Okay. We gotta get your mellows going, so bring it on over. All day long, I count to five, and if I'm missing one, you just go find them. So we just push it on like that. Okay, this marshmallow line's getting long. You guys ready for some mellows? Yeah. You can take that, Lily. Go ahead and cook it. Here you go, Logue. You wanna put it on? Lincoln, do you know how to put it on? There you go. Violet Rose, you ready for another mellow? Yeah, marshmallow. There you go. And then where's, there she is. Come here, Daisy Kate. Here you go. Thanks for being patient. The mellow? Well, this is hot. Yeah. We had one mellow that got overcooked, so we gave it to the fire. Does anyone want to eat it still? I'll pull it out. Yeah. No. No? fire. How do you like your mellows? You don't like them nice and toasty? I like them crispy. Crispy, but just look not at, black. Look at mine. Let me see. That is perfectly golden. That's how I like it. It is perfectly. Oh, it smells good. That's, hot. It's perfectly white. It, however you like it. It's still cold. There's no wrong way to do a mellow. Sam's like his, Sam's like his black. Yeah? Logan, how's your mellow, bro? Wait. Delicious? No, still not. So do you guys want to camp outside maybe on Friday? Mm, how about on Sunday? How about on Sunday? Okay, maybe Saturday night to Sunday? We can camp Friday and Sunday if you want. Are you going to eat that one, Lily? No, I'm not so going to eat it. How come? See so on the side, you should do that. It's too on fire. It got on fire. Can yeah. I have fire? You can have, one. You can have another one. Oh, yeah, blow it out. Careful, careful. Fire. Way to blow it out, Logan. It we got the fire patrol. Look. A double? Delicious. Are you going to cook some more, kid? No, I'm full, so I'm roasting a stick. You're roasting a fire. stick? Do you want to just put that one in the fire? You don't no. have to eat that mellow if you don't want. You want me to take it? Okay. Give me this. Okay. Here's our mellow. You're gonna eat, oh, you want the stick? Yeah. I'll take the mellow. I got myself a little bit of mellow. That's kind of kind of raw, though. I think that's how Daisy likes them. This. You can eat those. Yeah, that's your Watch treat out, today. Louis. You guys were all good, so we got Ew. to go to the Walmart and get treats Look. for dessert, and we're doing bonus mellows. This one's too hot for me. Uh, oh. Okay, you can't light them on fire, Linky. I'm it blow it out, blow it out. Fire. There you go. We could give it to fire. Because that's not going to taste very good. Are you going to eat it? Mm. Huh? I'm going to feed it to the fire. You're going to feed it to the fire? Out. Yeah, I need to make it all black. It's glowing. Okay, glowing. it looks like you've been feeding the fire. I see more in there. Here you go, fire. Thanks for coming. Ah. Wait, do you guys hear that? Thank you. Oh, the fire said thank you. I love marshmallows. They're not impressed. How's it going, Lily? It's ready and perfect to eat. <laughs> it's perfect to eat. That looks looks pretty good. Yours is golden brown on top. And then this is the one Lincoln gave me. Do you want this one at all? No. No. I don't think I Daddy, do either. Daddy, my sticks hang on free. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's amazing. 